we have been to the field and collected this sample. And when you collect the sample, make sure that the flowers in that the branch, you have a variety of stages or variety, variety, different types of flowers. You can see that some flowers are still immature. They're in the, their buds. Some are already, have already dropped the, the petals. And uh, some are just blooming, right? So you need to have a variety of uh, the flowers in the branch you collect. So once you collect it, then you select the best, the branch that you can find with all the requirements. And then should be some way of this size or slightly longer, possibly. Right? You can see that this branch has got the fruits. It's got the older flowers, the younger one, just blooming ones, and also it has got the, the buds. So this is an ideal branch to be selected for collection because it has got all the stages. Once you collect it, make sure that you do not disturb. Even if there are dead leaves, don't remove them. Keep them as such. If they're damaged leaves, just keep them as such because this should be a, the real collection without any mutilation. Once you do this, you press it between the, the papers that you've already prepared before you place the sample uh, between the newspapers, make sure you give a short name or a temporary name for that sample. That temporary name could be your two initials, for example, NA, and the number of the sample. So you might be collecting in a sequence, 100, 200,000, even some of them have got up to 50,000 samples you write down the unique number. So this must be NA250, say for example. So you've already given the temporary name and tie this label to the sample so that always wherever the sample goes, the temporary name stays with it. And then you cover this and put the sheet back and uh, tighten up. And then take it all, put the weight so that all the samples get pressed. And then every one or two days, change the paper to a new paper. And then once you change it three or four times, then the plant sample should be dry and you'll get a very neat sample.